when, when I talk about LPs, investors being comfortable with VCC, I fully agree with, uh, with Justin that um, there was a lot of um, proactive promotion of the VCC, not from a marketing sense, but from an educational sense, from various government agencies, primarily MES in Singapore with, with various stakeholders, PwC, Standard Chartered, um, law firms, where they actively went out literally to EU, North America, to the pensions, etc., to tell them, hey guys, when you get a PPM, it says VCC, this is what it is. It's not new, it's a corporate structure, it's targeted at the, the fund industry and, and we are reacting to feedback that we've got from global managers who are doing business in Singapore. So it's very, very proactive. That was circa four, five years ago, active promotion. Um, fast forward it now, is it, is, it a, is it a given that if you have a VCC as an offering document to an international investor coming in, they'll say, yeah, it's fine, we've done all the due diligence, it's all kosher, and, and we're happy to subscribe a check to this particular entity. The answer is no. We're not there yet. But the, but the point I'm trying to make is, and it's really changing our mindset, moving away from looking at a single fund entity, where we talk about CCAS and Lux, we talk about VCC in Singh and OFC in Hong Kong, that, that is sort of missing the, this is the part I always get wrong, missing the forest for the trees, correct? Um, what we need to look at is collectively, is there a lot more critical mass for our industry in Singapore? And for me, from my observation as a lawyer, is, is a resounding yes. Why do I say that? From a fund structuring perspective, it's very difficult for me not to see a Singapore element for an offering in Singapore as of now. 10 years ago, it was a given that everything was offshore. The only thing onshore was a manager. And why was the manager here? Because GIC or Tomasic wanted to see them on the ground. I mean, anecdotally, I'll share that. But also because distribution was done in Asia. These days, it's very different. You would see a global offering. It might have a Luxembourg feeder element, which is the part the investors see because they're comfortable with Lux. It goes downstream because the, the investment universe is Asia and the managers are licensed by MES in Singapore. They have a master fund that aggregates all the feeder fund AUMs into a Singapore structure because it makes sense to have a master fund that invests into the downstream from a tax perspective. My point is, I'm seeing Singapore in the fund structure going forward. Whether it's a limited partnership, whether it's a VCC, it doesn't matter. I see Singapore in the fund structure. Now, we've been talking about looking forward. Do we see the top end going away? Maybe, maybe not. But it's irrelevant because the, the substance linked to Singapore, whether it's the managers, whether it's the fund structure, whether it's the LPs coming in, I'm seeing a lot more of that.